In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus LiSO4. This is silver nitrate and lithium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do, we need to balance the molecular equation. So this is the molecular equation up here. See, I have two silvers here and just one. I'm going to put a two here. So now I have two of these nitrates and only one nitrate here. Let's put a two here. That solves the nitrates. I have two lithiums, two of these lithiums, and then a sulfate and a sulfate. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. AQ, it'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. In general, with a few exceptions, sulfates, they're also very soluble. Lithium sulfate, that's soluble. One of the exceptions are silver compounds. Silver sulfate is insoluble. It's a good one to remember. When you react these two substances here together, you'll get this silver sulfate. It'll be a solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this silver sulfate, it's a precipitate, and it'll be a solid. And then nitrates, we said, very soluble. Now we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver, although it's with the transition metals, it's always one plus, and the whole nitrate ion is one minus. So we have two silver ions, and I won't write the states, let's do that later, plus that two, it goes to everything here, so I have two of these nitrate ions as well, the NO3 minus. Lithium, that's in group one on the periodic table, has a one plus ionic charge. The whole sulfate, two minus. So I have two lithium ions here. And then I have the sulfate ion, that SO4, two minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products with net ionic equations, we do not split solids apart. So we're going to keep this silver sulfate as Ag2SO4. We don't split this apart. It's at the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. It's not split apart. So we'll leave that there. And then we said lithium positive and the whole nitrate ion negative. Two lithium ions. And then we also have two nitrate ions, just like the reactants. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now, to get the net ionic equation, we're going to cross out spectator ions, and they're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. In the reactants, here are those two nitrate ions, and here in the products, we have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, and we're going to cross those out. In the reactants here, we have two lithium ions, and in the products, two lithium ions, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Li2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus lithium sulfate. You note that charge is conserved. We have two times one plus, that's two plus, two plus and the two minus, net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. Charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Li2SO4. Thanks for watching.